Hey everyone, long time no see, we're back and we're making another Bible story. Harvey, are you ready? Mia, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Good, because we're going to tell you a little story about when Jesus did some healings. I don't know if you know this, guy loved doing healings, guy loved teaching. And we're going to tell you a story about one particular healing, one particular healing. That was really cool. So, go team! Go team! Go team. In today's story, Jesus is in another town with his disciples, doing the thing he does best, teaching and performing miracles. One of his favorite things to do was healing. In fact, every time he would come to a new town, people from all over would begin to gather so they could see this great healer. Hey, 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 guess what? You'll never believe it. You know how your brother hasn't been able to walk like his whole life? Mm-hmm. Guess who came to town today? Jesus, a healer! You can't, you can, we gotta go see him! <laughs> oh, hello, dear. What, are you visiting me at work? What a pleasant surprise. How are you? Good. Um, so you know how you're always complaining about how your back hurts? I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm always complaining about my back. I mean, it's just what... It, I mean, it hurts sometimes. I work a lot, you know? Well, like, I'll ask you to do, like, the simplest task, and you'll be like, Oh, my back, and you're just moaning and telling me, like, Oh, this is such a hard job. Okay, like, take it easy, okay? Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes I do use my back. At, look, I, I work a lot. Why? What is what is this? Why are you visiting me, then? Like, are you just complete? What is this? Um, Jesus is in town, and you're going to go see him, because I'm done listening to you. All right, I, I guess I'll go see him. And as the people began to spread the word, many would come to experience healing from Jesus. Many people showed up waiting to receive a word of promise, to receive a miracle and be restored to fullness of health. How's that feel? Oh, it's like, it's like a new world. Thanks. Next, next, come on, who's up? I fell into a volcano. You fell into a volcano? Wow! I'm so sorry. What, what? What's wrong now? I don't breathe so good. You don't breathe so good. Well, how are you breathing now? Next! My brother's legs are bent and broken. They've been like this his whole life. Can you help him? You tell me. Can I help you, sir? Wow! I feel great! Where did your chair go? I don't know! Next! Even people who are sick with strange illnesses and infectious diseases and things that made them kind of unclean to so many people, Jesus was able to get close to them. Brother, how can I help you? What are you suffering from that keeps people at such a great distance from you? You know, we actually haven't come up. What, what is, what's he sick with, Harvey? What's he sick with? He sneezes snakes. Like he sneezes snakes. Okay. All right, let's try it. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Can you can you show me? Wow. Brother, we're going to fix this. And Jesus would touch them and heal them, and he wouldn't become sick. Who's next? Come on, somebody come help. Oh, hey, yes, Simon Peter, what's up? Um, I know that you're kind of busy and you got a long line of people, but my mother-in-law is six. And so I was wondering if you could help her. Of course, Simon Peter, of course. Let's go help your mother-in-law. Yes, she is ill. What seems to be the problem? She has a fever. We're so worried about her. Yes, well, great news. Her fever will break now. Ah, I'm all better. She's all better. 
The next morning, while the disciples were still sleeping, a line began to form as people waited to see Jesus, to come experience more healing. One minute, folks. I can't seem to find Jesus anywhere. The disciples couldn't find Jesus because he had slipped off early in the morning to a quiet place where he could pray. This is where Simon Peter found him. Hey Jesus, there's a, there you are. There's a bunch of people who, who are waiting to be healed. Are you uh -huh. going to come back? Yes, I bet there are a lot of people, but Simon Peter, we're not going back. Why? I'm sure there are a lot of people that need help here, but we didn't come for just one town. I didn't come to tell this message to one community. We have to go. We have to show as many people as we can the miracles of God and tell the good news. Get everything ready. We're leaving soon. Okay. Deja vu, right? Deja vu. We've told this story. Yes, we have. Hello. Hi, Belle. It's my dog, Bella. Hi. Are you so sweet? She is a sweet dog. I love this dog. You know what? I like this dog, especially when I'm kind of stressed out and especially when I'm a little like um, overextended. I'll end up like sitting on the edge of the couch, not really relaxing and she'll walk over like, hey, you got pet something, don't you? You need to have a, you need to have a pet session. I'm like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mwah. I like this story a lot because Jesus does this incredible thing where he heals uh, Peter's mother and he's helping these people and people are loving it and he's just doing a great job and he could have just stayed there but he takes time to regroup regroup right to to recenter to to restore to get back in a good place just like this dog puts me into a good spot sometimes when i'm stressed out we need to do that sometimes. So we know our work is similar to Jesus, that we're in the business of telling the good news, that we're in the business of um, of helping and healing and being gracious and peacemakers. But an important to that work is Jesus says, we're not just doing it here. We're not just going to keep healing and healing and healing and healing and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing, doing until he burns up. He has to stop, regroup, recenter. For me, good pet sesh with the dog for me a good time to read for me a little bit of just like quiet remembrance contemplation a little bit of that can go a long way when your wheels just seem to keep on turning and turning and turning this is a cool lesson today about um rest about sabbath that jesus is doing really great things but even he needs to take a minute to find a quiet place to regroup there is so much need in the world right now in terms of healing and help. There's so much opportunity for us. And we talk about that all the time at Good Shepherd about here's how you can help. Here's how you can serve. We got the Super Bowl of Caring. You could write a card. You can, you can uh, donate to this. You can donate to that. You can do this. And those are all great things. There's so much need in the world that can be like astounding. But we're not our best if we're not operating from a place of rest, that we're being restored. We need to take time to reconnect. We need to take time to root ourselves again. And who do we want to be? Who are we called to be? I know what I have to do. I know the chores I have to do. I know my responsibilities and I know the expectations I have. And that can be real stressful. But like, who do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to be? And we take that time. That's why God gave us a day of rest to go, who am I? Who is God? Who do I want to be? And let's make sure we're honoring those things. Who do I need to connect with? Who do I need to apologize to? Who do I need to um, to to make peace with? Because um, that's important work. So you guys are doing great things, I'm sure, in helping your neighbors. I've, I've, I've heard the stories of all the uh, cool ways that we're still serving in the midst of a uh, pandemic. But also, I hope you're taking time to rest because these schedules can get kind of hectic and we just get caught in them. Take time to reestablish healthy practices like prayer and worship and, um, and maybe like doing family time together. Read a Bible story. Share your highs and lows. Pray for one another. Bless one another before bed. These are great ways to regroup, to find that quiet place and remember who you are because that's important work. Cool? 
or pet your dog like I do. That's my favorite bet. She's over here. She looks super cute. She's got flower on her thing because she was groomed. It's too much. It's too much, I tell you. But um, yeah, take some time, connect with one another, regroup because the mission's ahead of us and we want you at your best. All right, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Take a minute to rest. Bye.